I see a lot of blue out there today. <laughs> we were joking, Sam, during the practice. We couldn't tell which team was which because there was so much navy blue. Um, so we see a little bit of different shades, which is nice. Yeah, exactly. I was saying in the in the warm ups that I wasn't sure I was going to be able to tell all the teams apart. Everybody had navy blue uh, tank leos on, but we've got some some variation here with Yale with the sort of sporty uh, sparkles, and uh, LIU has their uh, their the navy bottom, but the light blue and yellow on the top, and we I I can't see from here. Uh, what we've got for UNH on uh, on bars, but I really like these uh, Southern Connecticut. I do too. I here. That that fresh white, the winter white, looks really good. Super pretty and very very sparkly. I always love a white Leo. I know as a gymnast, I did not like white Leos, but I they are very pretty. <laughs> Same as a gymnast, I hated my white uniform, and I always wanted to wear black. And as soon as I graduated, guess what? They were black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like these. It's a really nice way to do it with the blue at the bottom, but the nice clean white yeah. at the top. Make the white leotard folks happy, but also make the gymnast comfortable. LIU leotards, though, speaking of gymnastics fashion, they do look good from a distance. The way that gradient sets in and the sparkle. Yeah, super sparkly. I love that. I'm a big fan of these Yale yeah, leotards because they remind me of sort of like a throwback leotard from the 2000s. They do. Maybe we're just, you know, a little old over here, but, you know, it uh, it's it's a throwback. Reminds me of what I might have worn. Yes, exactly. Two-minute touch has started. A lot of energy going on at the quad meet. Four teams all going at the same time. It's kind of nice, I have to say, as a gymnast, when you do have a meet like this, because I feel like there's less waiting. Yeah, there, you move pretty quickly through the events, and, you know, you don't have to focus on waiting for any other events to go. Mm -hmm. I find the quad meet is, is fun to watch, but it can be a little chaotic. Yes. So, you know, we'll... We're going to go through each of the events here, try to share with you who's competing on each one, try to try to keep you oriented, but it will be a lot going on this afternoon. Warm up seemed to go pretty well for all four teams. For me, I'm really excited to see Hannah Strauss on beam in this rotation. She has a Really, really difficult dismount with a back handspring step out, back handspring to a double full. So I'm really excited to see that. She'll be in the leadoff position for Yale on beam. And she is very solid. I've watched her for the past season, and she really is a standout gymnast for Yale. And she's also a pleasure to watch on the floor exercise. Starting off for floor for... Southern Connecticut State, we're going to have Erica Bayer. She is a junior all-around gymnast. Another skill that I'm interested to see in this rotation is New Hampshire fifth year Kennedy Brown. She has a Markalov, which is a very interesting uh, release move that you don't see very often, um, where she goes straight over the high bar. Um, super interested to see that, and I believe she'll be in the fourth position in that lineup as well. For LIU, you'll notice that Sid Morris is not competing this afternoon. Um, so they'll be trying out their depth as well, seeing new athletes getting into the lineups. Um, it'll be a good chance here at home for some of the freshmen to get another shot um, trying out their routines, and it'll help them build some depth as the season goes on.
It looks like the two-minute touch warm-up is over, and the teams are getting ready to get underway. Leading things off on vault for LIU will be true senior, Miss Lauren Miller. On floor, we'll have Erica Bayer. On beam, we'll have Hannah Strauss. Hannah is getting started on beam. She, this is the first event to get started here this afternoon. Very solid on her series. Backhand spring layout step out. This is elevation. Here we have Lauren Miller. Getting things ready on top at LIU. And a little short on that ball, or you tinkle full so she did have to tight down, but fortunately she landed on her feet, and hopefully LIU can pull that score well. Exactly. Hannah is going cleanly through her beam machine a little wobble on her one of her jump series is that her full turn was really great and here's that dismount i was talking about before very very nice she'll be quite happy with that over on the uneven bars we have leah morena who just hit a very big routine very nice and, the lead off this now. and we were talking earlier about that important new rule about having to stick for more than a second. That was definitely a stick longer than a second. Eric Bear continuing on floor. So far strong. Very nice. Up next on vault, we will have Isabella Savino from LIU, the sophomore who is in the second position for the Sharks. On floor for Southern Connecticut State University, we'll have Ava Kelly. And on beam, we'll have Megan Bruick from Yale. Bit of a rare quiet moment here in a quad meet where all of the first routines have finished and we're waiting on some scores. It's a quiet moment from the judges, but I tell you, these girls are cheering so loud for their teammates. Still playing the waiting game on the vault for Isabella, who will be the second gymnast for LIU. A great score for Erica Bayer for Southern Connecticut State to start us off at 9725. 
and a strong ball from Miss Savino. A soup full twisting tuck. You can see that her teams are extremely happy for that one. Very explosive. Nice tight tuck in the air. Back. Southern Connecticut's highest score in their last meet was a 9-6, so that already beats that. They're already off to a great start. And Megan getting started here on team. She's a sophomore, a really exciting recruit last year, but this is her first season competing on team. And Miss Sierra Bauman from UNH on the uneven bar, the second stick that we've seen from that team. They are really doing well in the competition today. And unfortunately, Megan was just a little off to the side in her series and had to hop off, but she's back up. She needs to finish this routine strong just in case they need to count her score. And there's a fall early in the lineup. It starts to put a little more pressure on the rest of the gymnast. So hopefully they can come back cool, calm, and collected. Absolutely. And she's doing a really great job of making each moment count for the rest of her routine, making sure she can get as high a score as possible, even with that fall. And she sticks to the dismount, holds for one second there before she salutes. I know she's probably not thrilled with that, but she really, really pulled it through in the second half of the routine. As you said, every little detail matters after a fall because you never know if you have to count that score. Absolutely. Back over on the vault in the third position for LIU will be the freshman. <laughs> Selena Delanchenko. She'll be performing a big vault for the LAU Sharks. Fairfields getting some other way. And the great Lachenko tuck full twist. He does take quite of a step on that landing, but Again, LIU, they are landing all of their vault. I'm sure she's happy with that. So she came in in place of Sid Morris today. And it's really great for the Sharks in this fourth season to be able to show some depth and to be able to have athletes that they can put in whenever they need. It will be really good preparation for postseason as, you try to, um, as they try to move towards a postseason this year. We'll have Ella Tostrom on beam from Yale coming up next. She is a freshman, and I love that she actually has a switch split jump in the side position in her routine. So watch out for that. It's a very interesting and different skill that you don't see often. So she'll start facing the side, um, and she'll do a switch uh, into a split jump in that direction. Over on uneven bars, we have Miss Gianna Graver. Nice pack, so it's a little bit of a form break, but she recovers very well. Gianna has great extension on this event. Beautiful handstand position. Great pointed toes. Blindfold. Oh, and she takes the smallest hop on that dismount, but you and Nate. They're on fire they over on bars. A huge, huge routine for the team on the bars. Going third in the third spot on floor for Southern Connecticut State is Sophia Rucker. A freshman. Very nice double pike to start. And Ella getting started here on the beam. Holds on to that full turn, even though she might have been a little off. And a great vault from Miss Kate Parks from LIU. Are you chanko full twisting layout? Ella is fighting for that uh, landing on her series. She almost looked like she was going to fall off, but she held on to it with her toes. A fall from Sophia, unfortunately, on that punch front. Couldn't quite make it all the way around. Up on bars next for UNH is Miss Kennedy Brown. 
Kennedy will be doing an intricate DDT. And here will be that interesting jump I was talking about. Switch split. Oh, a little wobble, but such a cool skill. And so, so difficult. Yeah, seriously. Sophia finishes on floor. Ball in her second pass. Almost put those hands on those on that last pass, but saved it. Here's Miss Kennedy on the bars. Oh, and she's a little over on that handstand. I thought she was going to save that. Has to come down. That will count as a fall for UNH on the uneven bars. So they will most likely run to throw away this throw. But back on vault for LIU is Miss Annalisa Page with another huge retangle full twist. Great distance. Really kept that body position as long as she possibly could. That's one of the things you're looking for in your Chenko full, that great stretch body position. And I have to say, LIU has made a huge improvement on vault from last season. Every single one of their vaulters are really doing an amazing job and really performing explosive vaults, clean, tight in the air, and finding that landing. Back on bars for UNH is Miss Kennedy Brown. Let's see how she recovers after that fall. And this is Gigi Sabatini starting on beam for Yale. She's their one all-arounder today. On floor, we have Hannah Zabidi. And a great release move. Ooh. A beautiful mark off from Miss Brown on the bars. Oh, and she sticks that dismount. That would have been a huge score for UNH, unfortunately. They will most likely want it to drop, but nonetheless, that was a great comeback from Miss Brown on the bars. Hannah scored a 9.85 three times in her career, so Southern Connecticut hoping to get that big score again, help them after that fall. on that series, a little tiny bobble on hand, but she really keeps it as straight as possible. Very cool, a split three quarter jump there. Closing things out for LIU on vault will be Alana Ricketts. Alana is a true freshman for the Sharks. That's unfortunately the second fall on beam for Yale. So, like I said before, each of those athletes is going to really have to maximize the rest of their score. And a great vault for Miss Alana from LIU. That will probably score the highest for the Sharks on vault. And a nice one and a half dismount there from Gigi Sabatini, but that won't be how she wanted to start her all around competition today. Coming into her last pass, Hannah. Solid routine so far. Southern Connecticut State will take that one. Up next on bars for UNH would be Miss Jenna DiVincenzo. The pressure will be on for Jenna after that fall from Kennedy Brown. So UNH will be looking for Jenna to put up a bigger score, a huge number for the team. Yeah, and I was super impressed with Jenna last week because she was out for most of last season, but she was a really big scorer for UNH in 2022. So here's to hoping that she can do that again today. 
Libby Allen going in the fifth position for Southern Connecticut State. And Libby was the the team's highest floor score at their last meet, and she is fully capable of those of those big scores. Next her Yale on beam will be Emma Mangia Crawford. She is a senior and the number two returner on beam. She has a career high of a 9-8, and they'll be looking for her to hit this routine to get their rotation back on track. That was a great bar set from Jenna DiVincenzo. Definitely the routine that they needed coming back from that fall. Absolutely. Libby last season was an all GEC floor first team honors. And she's quite the dancer, as I saw in warm ups. Really draws in the crowd. Very dynamic first pass. Front layout on full. Very nice. Beautiful so far from Libby Allen. They said she, she's got dynamic tumbling, dynamic dancing. The crowd really getting into this one. Yeah, she's one of the athletes I saw, and I thought, that's a dancer. She, mm -hmm. she loves to perform. Final pass. Emma fights to stay on for her series there. She will not make you all have to come another fall. Beautiful routine from Little Bay Island. Unfortunately, chest down on that last pass. She had to take a hop back, but should be a good score for Southern Connecticut State. Looks like they're playing the waiting game on the uneven bars, but highly the Jenny just deleted. She will be the only all around gymnast for UNH today, and here she is getting things underway on the bars. Um, Emma, Really, really great routine for her, um, setting Yale back on track here. And I love a Gainer Pike dismount off the end. Super challenging and very dynamic to watch. On the bars, this is a beautiful routine. I think she might have taken a small step forward, but that was arguably the best routine that we've seen for new and eight on the bars today. Yeah, Kylie is such a great gymnast. Really glad that she's back in for her fifth year. She has a career high of a 9.95 on bars. Such an amazing gymnast. Next up on floor, we have Alexa Melanson. Alexa recorded a high of a 9.85 last season against Bridgeport. We expect to see another high mark from her. And Sarah Wilson will close out the Yale Beam lineup. And she is a senior who has been one of the athletes that they have turned to regularly across all events. She has a, a front tuck uh, within her routine, so make sure to watch out for that. Another really challenging skill. On the bars, we will have an exhibition routine for your age from Zoe Arthur. Just saves that front tuck. And such a cool mount from Sarah. She does like a one-handed uh, cartwheel onto the beam there. Great full turn, nice control. that front tuck. 
Sometimes she does it into a beat jump. Not today, but the front tuck is still super strong. One and a half front lay from Alexa on floor. Solid second pass. Great extension on those leaps from Sarah Wilson. She really extends all the way through those toes. Layout step out clean. Alexa getting ready for her last pass on floor exercise. Her handspring wasn't quite the one and a half she needed. And Sarah gearing up for her dismount here. She does a front tuck full. Oh, a front. Hey, or a pike, I couldn't tell there from over here, but a really, really great routine for Sarah to anchor that rotation. Uh, Yale will have one exhibition routine from Chloe DeJoy, um, but she really made sure that they finished that routine strong after having to count a fall. The last routine that we'll see from UNH on the bars will be from Summer Simpkins. It will be another exhibition routine Exhibition routines are great for gymnasts to perform because it gives them that real sense of competition without their score actually counting towards the team's total. So Summer and Zoe, who just performed for UNH on bars, their uneven bar routines will not count towards the team's score, but it gives them that experience they need for when their scores do actually count for that team for the score. Yeah, really great at this point in the season to give athletes the chance to exhibition, try out some other routines, make sure that uh, these coaches are testing their depth before uh, the season really gets started. Last on floor exercise for Southern Connecticut State will be Leany Dimkin. A sophomore from Ontario. Good start with the roundout back handspring double pike. And here's Chloe getting started for her exhibition routine on the. There, a little wobble on the bit on the end there, but really nice extension. Strong second pass. Back asking way out, step out. Uh, just had to put those hands down. Didn't quite make it all the way around in that one and a half. Unfortunately, Southern Connecticut State will have to count a fall on floor. And a clean routine for Chloe DeJoy. That was really great for her in exhibition spot. I think that she's proving to her coaches that she's ready in the seventh spot if uh, they need her. And that concludes our first round, our first rotation. LIU will be moving to the bars. New Hampshire over to the beam, Yale over to the floor, and Southern Connecticut State over to the vault. And 
without your help. Us here at LIU would not be able to make all of this possible. So we are extremely thankful for your sponsorship on today. And in addition, we would just like to remind everyone that today is Autograph Poster Day. So be sure to stay after the competition to get your 2024 Sharks poster autographed by all of the team members. Um, each, each team will be moving to their next event. So we will have LIU on bars, UNH on beam, Yale on floor, and Southern Connecticut will go to vault. A few exciting things that I'm looking forward to seeing in this rotation is Marisa Carraro, she's a freshman for LIU who just arrived in January. She is a Argentina national team member and was just at the World Championships. She has really pretty extensions, so watch out for her on her bars routine. On beam for New Hampshire, I am really excited to see freshman Anna Chalman. She has an interesting connection at the beginning of her routine, um, four jumps or leaps in a row, a cat leap, switch leap, split jump to a boot jump. So it'll be interesting to see if she connects them all today, but that's a really complicated and interesting set of skills. I'm looking forward to seeing Gigi Sabatina up on floor for Yale as she was, she took home the all around title uh, in their last meet. Absolutely. I'm actually also looking forward to seeing Sherry Wang. She was really fun to watch last week as well. Yes, and Chloe DeJoy will also be um, debuting again on the floor exercise. Ella Tajwan was the Bulldogs' top performer on the floor exercise in their last competition with a 9.825. They are looking to top that score. Starting things off on the vault for Southern Connecticut will be the freshman, Sophia Bruckert, who will be leading things off for the Owls. To be a freshman leading off your team is not an easy thing to do. So I'll be really looking forward to this vault and seeing how she does, setting the pace for her teammates to follow. On the uneven bars for LIU will be junior Kara Sanchez, who will be starting things off. Kara has been a very solid gymnast for LIU, and she is the gymnast that you'd probably want starting off on the uneven bars. She can put up a good routine that her teammates can definitely build off of. Starting Yale up off on floor is Hannah Strauss. And this is Sierra Bauman on the beam for UNH. That was a huge ball for Southern from the freshman Sophia. That was a great Yurchenko tuck for a small hop forward. Now on the uneven bars, we will have Kara Sanchez getting things underway for LIU. Beautiful front aerial to backhand spring for Sierra on beam. Really, really calm and extended. Great full turn as well. Here's Kara finishing things off on the uneven bars. A huge double layout. She takes a step forward, but that is not an easy dismount to do. And she is a taller gymnast. That was a great job from Ms. Kara Sanchez. Very nice round of back handspring double pike from Hannah Strauss. Super clean. Hat leaf to front toss for Sierra. 
Here's their lead steer ace, switch lead to sheep jump, to sheep jump. Wow, that was great. She was leading them off strong. Great start for Yale on floor. You know, I really love handled gymnastics from Yale. She reminds me of the gymnast back in the 90s. You know, it was very simple but effective. You know, Beautiful. Look, yeah. Yeah, you know, her two and a half doesn't even look like a two and a half because she does it so effortlessly. So pretty. That was a really great routine for Sierra Bauman to start off UNH. Very few deductions that you can see there, and she stuck her dismount. So they are going to be really happy with that to start off their rotation. And that was Ava Kelly on ball for Southern Connecticut. A different ball from the Yurchenko that we're used to seeing that was a suitful. She did take off a little early on the black, but that was a great ball. Next on floor for Yale, we have Megan Brunick, sophomore from Cincinnati, Ohio. On beam, we'll have Jenna DiVincenzo. She's a senior, as we talked about on bars, and she, again, didn't compete much last season, but she's coming back strong in 2024. Here we have Miss Lauren Miller on the uneven bars up next for LIU. Oh, and she was just a little too short. She didn't have enough swing. A strong start for Yale. Hannah posted a 9.775. Now we have Megan Brunek up. Lauren is finishing strong on the uneven bars. Strong double back. Combination there for Jenna. Cat leads to a front toss to a jump. And a clean ball from Southern by Lexi Breacher. Oh, and she is back on her heels a little bit too much on that straddle quarter, but swings her arms and stays on the beam. It will be a sizable deduction though. Holds on to that series landing as well with an arm swing, but keeps it straight up. Another stuck gainer fall for UNH. Very good. Megan couldn't quite get that split jump with amplitude. There will be deduction there. But for, from besides that, it was a, another great routine for Yale on the floor. Up next on bars for LIU will be the freshman Kate Park. And on vault, we'll have Kylie City for Southern. Those two ladies will be getting things underway very shortly, and it looks like Kylie is actually preparing for ball. And a different vault, your tanko half on. It's funny because I actually asked if we would see that today. And, you know, we did. And I was not expecting that. That was a great <laughs> vault from Miss Kylie City for Southern. 
Next up on floor for you, we have Sherry Wang, a senior from Austin, Texas. We have Kylie Gorgini getting started for her team routine. She is also in the all around for UNH. Oh, and that was a dismount from the freshman Kate Parks. The Sharks are hyped, and they should be. That was, I mean, that stick, that was a dominant stick right there. That was the type of stick that you gave me. You just know you put down a great routine. Yale getting momentum on floor, slowly creeping up the ladder with those scores. Hope to see a big one from Sherry Wang. Unfortunately for Kylie, she did come off on her series, so that will put the pressure on the rest of the UNH lineup. Yale really getting the crowd into the dances. There we have Miss Brianna Dorr from Southern on ball. And Kylie finished her routine strong, but she won't be happy about that ball. It'll be on her teammates to make sure that UNH doesn't need to count a fall. But no pressure for uh, the next up, which is Alyssa uh, Bovio. She is the number one returner on beam for UNH. She has a career high of a 9875 and a really great beam routine. So this will be one to watch. What a fun routine from Sherry Wang that just went on floor. And that was a great vault from Miss Dorr for Southern. A good Uchenko tuck full twist. Southern there doing the job on vault. up next on bars. It actually looked like they changed the bar lineup. I believe this is Yes, this is freshman Kate Park. Next on floor, we have Chloe DeJoy. Well, it looks like they changed the uneven bar lineup. We will get things back rolling for LIU on the bars. Sherry Wang posted a 9.875. So momentum continues with Yale on floor. Each routine just keeps getting better and better. And this is Alyssa Bolio starting up on beam. Front full front layout, beautiful. Nice height in that front layout. Front toss, back handspring, really, really clean. Smith straddle. I wish her second leg had been a little bit higher, but very clean, no wobbles.
off the one and a half and she sticks it and held that for even longer than the one second you have to hold. A really great routine for Alyssa Bolio. Another great routine for Yale on floor, Chloe DeJoy. And another one for Miss Annalisa Page on the uneven bars for LIU. Beautiful extension. Awesome stick right there for LIU on bars. And that was Isabella Savino on bars for LIU. That was the best bar routine that we've seen from the Shark today. Extremely clean, beautiful leg extension in the air. Great dismount. And finally, on ball for Southern, we have Hannah Zebdi. She did have to wait quite a bit for her turn, so we're going to see how she does with the pressure of waiting. Beautiful. And it looks like she had no problem with that. A beautiful layout, and she kind of celebrates as she should. That was a great ball. And Chloe Detroit with a 9-9 on floor. I'm telling you, Yale just, Yale just keeps getting better and better every routine. Now we have Ella Tajwan up. And this will be Ann Chalman, a freshman for UNH on beam. And she is spectacular. So really pay attention to this routine. and a half front layout from Ella. Such beautiful lines and toe point. Getting ready for her last pass. Front, front one and a half. Little chest on that landing, but other than that, very solid, beautiful routine. Yale is on fire on floor right now. And on the bars, we have Brisa Ferraro. Beautiful pack also that we just saw. Here she is working her way back up on the bars. A little short of that handsome, but the leg extension. She fights for that pirouette and a double tuck to a duck dismount. Yeah, that was that freshman I was noting before we got this rotation started. She's going to be a star for the Sharks. I mean, she brought the Argentina spice. Yeah, so they're happy with that one over there. They're Argentina, celebrating. <laughs> the heat over in New York. That was the bar routine that LIU needed. And just to clarify, that last ball you've seen actually came from Libby Allen, who exhibition for Southern. And here's Ann Chalman finally getting started. She did have to wait quite a bit for the judges to sort out her teammates for. And here's that combination. I was talking about cat leap, switch leap, switch jump. Oh, no V jump today, but really, really strong beam worker. Beautiful toe point. She does that front toss. She's supposed to do it into a back handspring. So I think she's gonna come back and repeat the skill to make sure she gets her series. Yep, there she goes. Up on floor, all-around gymnast Gigi Sabatini. Gigi is one of the Bulldogs' top performers. Another toss to a beach jump. That was supposed to be a front aerial, but she seemed a little bit bent on her knees there. Grateful turn, though. Wonderful control. Just gearing up for the dismount here, round off one and a half. 
empty, almost six it just needed to be a little bit more patient with that dismount. Getting ready for that last pass. The Bulldogs have been very clean and strong on floor. Another great routine. This will be Serena Mullen for UNH. She'll be their beam anchor. Serena has a career high of a 9-9. Nine nine. They do have a fall so far in the lineup. So really, she's going to be trying to stay on the beam and make sure to get a good score here to move her team forward. Closing it out on floor for for uh, Yale will be Lily Alcoin. And Yale has such has had such a strong rotation, um, all securing the top score so far in the meet. Turn from Serena. Back into the layout, step out straight on the beam. Front layout, one and a half. A few steps on that landing. Try to dance out of it. Hopefully, the judges won't take too much on that. There's another front toss from the NH. A lot of front tosses in this lineup. That's a really tough skill and interesting to see it so many times. And a hop on the dismount, but a really pretty routine. UNH will be really happy that they made it through that rotation without having to count the fall. And we will still see an exhibition performance from Summer Simpkins. Unfortunately, Lily had to put those hands down on that double back in her second pass. So they'll be hoping to drop this score. But other than that, Yale has had a strong floor exercise event. That was a great showing for Yale on floor. That concludes floor exercise for Yale. Vault and bars are finished up and just one more routine on the balance beam. Yes, it's getting, gotten a little quiet in the gym here, but uh, Summer is getting a pep talk from her coach, 
and she's going to get ready to do her exhibition beam to finish out this rotation. And here she goes. The gym to herself here. A rare quiet moment in a quad meet. Fun mount there. Full turn. Handspring layout, step out, and she fights for that. Just really off on her hips in the landing, but was able to hold on. Oh, I thought uh, you had that for a I did too. I was I was trying to hold her on the beam. <laughs> oh, that's just a bummer. Really pretty ring jump there, though. Great extension and letting her head fall back. Just on that dismount. She holds on. Good fight from her, really showing that she's got a full routine and she can uh, make it into that lineup maybe later this season. Always good to have a really great 17 team. All right, that should be the end of our second rotation here. Um, the, the Sharks from LIU will move to the beam. The uh, UNH will move to the floor. Yale will move to vault and Southern Connecticut. And welcome back to this quad meet at LIU. We're getting started for the third rotation here. Couple routines for you to watch out for. The Sharks are going to be on team where this is one of their strongest events. They scored over a 49 last week. Some of my favorite things to watch out for would be Taylor Dawson, and she has a great ring jump. Um, she also will compete on floor today, but she used to be a beam specialist. Also have. Um, Lana Ricketts, who has great extension, and sophomore Annalisa Page, who has a beat jump to layout step out, which is one of my favorite combinations on the so challenging and so interesting. UNH will move over to floor, um, and keep your eye out again for Ann Shalman. We watched her on beat in the last rotation, but she is a really strong floor worker as well. Um, Really getting things started in her freshman year, super strong. And I would say also keep an eye on fifth year Kyla Kylie Borgani. She has a career high of a 9.9, and last year she had an NQS of a 9.86. So a really strong floor worker for Yale. Yale will head to the vault, um, well, the, where they'll have several full twisting laid out the tensile vaults. So. Keep an eye on those sticks and those, that distance. And Southern Connecticut will head to the bars um, where they have several interesting routines. Um, one of my favorites is JC Board, who I believe will do a Delta. So that should be really cool to watch out for. And I also have been really impressed with Christian Gigi Mastroni. Um, who does a hot chef to pack and a full twisting double stop, which just has really great bars for him. So this should be a really strong rotation for all four teams as we have just moved past the halfway point here at uh, this meet at LIU. As we talked about earlier, uh, sophomore Sid Morris for LIU is out today, and they will be uh, replaced by Alina Tomoshenko uh, for LIU. She's a freshman, and it'll be her first uh, rotation, first beam routine for the Sharks today. 
Woo! And that concludes the two minute warm up. Up first on floor for a UNH, we'll have Paulina Menez. Paulina is a freshman, and she's actually from out here in Long Island, New York. So I bet she has a nice home crowd here ready to cheer her on. Starting things off on the vault will be the senior Sarah Wilson for Yale, followed by Southern Connecticut on the uneven bars with the freshman Sophia Rucker from Thailand. Oh, very cool. Kale Bixler will start things off for the Sharks, I believe, and she's been their leadoff pretty much most rotations for the last three years, so she's really settled into this leadoff. Here we have Sarah Wilson getting things underwear for Yale. And a great Yurchenko tuck pull twist. Probably the best tuck pull that we've seen today in competition. Round up back. Oh, and a stick on that double pike. Great way to start off the floor exercise. And a triple series for Kale Bixler. So clean and strong. I love watching her on beam. Yeah, I think it's our first triple series we've seen today. And she does it so well. forward on that jump series has to bend at the race. She was happy about that. Getting ready for the final pass. Paulina has a double tuck with a solid finish. On the bar, Sophia is definitely hitting a great first routine for the Owls. Off one and a half for Kale Bixler. She wasn't able to hold on to that jump. It's still a really strong routine to get this rotation started for the show. UNH building on Yale's floor momentum. That was a star, strong start. Next, we'll have Maya McDonald. Followed by Sarah Wilson on vault, we will have the senior, Terry Wang. And another strong vault for Yale, your Chanko full twist. A lot of these teams today have been putting some great vaults down. Definitely one of the biggest improvements that we've seen from last season as a whole. Absolutely. I agree. This will be Taylor Dawson on beam, and she has a really cool front roll mount off the springboard. She'll follow it up with that really, really challenging jump combination with the, with the split ring jump. The Sharks this year have a really solid beam rotation. Um, last meet, they put up a 49-2. Always been a beam team, but this year it's really coming together. So They just look comfortable up there. When you're comfortable on beam, it just makes a world of difference. Maya getting the crowd into her dance. Up next on the uneven bars, we have Kylie City for Southern Connecticut. And on vault, we have 
Gigi Sabatini, who was originally supposed to go fourth, but now she's in the third spot. And that was a great Yurchenko hole. Probably the best block we've seen today in competition. I don't know if I'm aging myself. I'm like, I feel like <laughs> these are from way back when in the Disney Channel. <laughs> A beautiful dismount from Miss I'm Kylie. I'm loving it. On the Owls. Great extension in that double A dismount. There's that front roll mount from Taylor. What a fun routine from Maya McDonald. Just brought me back. <laughs> I have to say, I like a Hannah Montana routine. Me too. There's that jump combination from Taylor. Well, you can see she was a little off at the end, and she covered it with some dance. She did. Very smooth. Great choice there. For Taylor. On floor for UNH, we have McCall McMullen up in the third spot. And unfortunately, Taylor just, I think she slipped. Um, but she slid down on her side aerial there. It looks like she must have missed her foot. Really unfortunate because it was a great routine. UNH has put up two nine eight seven five so far. And another good ball for Yale by Miss Ella. A lot of power. Yes. Definitely a lot of power and very clean in the air as well. I noticed on floor Yale, just their lines are very beautiful. They're they're very easy and simple to watch. And Taylor hits her dismount. Unfortunately, she'll be real. She won't be happy with that fall, but she really fought through the rest of the routine. And now it's on her teammates to make sure that they can keep, keep everything together. Looks like she's okay. So that's really all that matters. She seemed to kind of hit her leg as she slid down there. So she looks to be all right. Up next for Yale on the vault will be Lily Acoin, who will now be in the fifth position after originally being set for the third. I don't know if I can spring double tuck just down on the landing. Another good ball for Yale. From Another the, great routine from UNH. From the freshman. This will be a freshman for the Sharks on beam, Katie Phils McCoy. She also has a triple series, which unfortunately she fell on last week. So let's hope that she can, can fight and stay on this week. Having a little bit of a hold up on the bars that Miss Audrey Arnold for Southern. Here's Katie on beam for the Sharks. Here comes that triple series, backhand spring. Back handspring layout, step out. Very nice. Her team is super excited for her. Oh. Um, um, Stag jump. Bobble, but she stays on. Next up on floor is Ann Shulman, a freshman. And a strong finish from Miss Audrey, who 
and she unfortunately falls over on that front pole dismount. It was such a great routine up until then, but she just had a little bit too much juice moving forward. And as she's okay too. And a strong finish from Miss Audrey, who unfortunately hit the low bar, which caused her to land on top of the bar in her Jaeger. So that was a good finish from her. Glad that she's safe and okay. That's definitely not something that you see too often. Didn't look too comfortable. You know, I must say that on the bars, they are definitely having some sort of a judging discrepancy. Mm -hmm. A lot of the gyms have been having to wait, and I think that that might have played a role in Miss Algie's bar performance. It's not easy to perform when you do have to wait. Um, and additionally, it's a little pool in here. So, you know, the longer you have to wait, <laughs> I'm the more freaking. tighter your muscles get. So yeah, it is you no, it's creeping inside. <laughs> it is. Hopefully, Southern can bounce back. Yeah, it looks like we've also got a judges conference on floor, so things are a bit uh, a bit quiet in here at the moment. I think the judges want some camera time. <laughs> you know, I think I think they might want our job. Yeah, so it looks like they're talking about McCall McMullen's floor routine. A little discrepancy, causing Anna Schulman to have to wait. Looks like things are moving on beam now. Annalisa Page, a sophomore for LIU, will get started. She did her first beam routine for the Sharks last week, and she scored a 9.825. So that's a great start for her. She didn't compete much at all last year, and she's really come out this year to uh, really contribute to the Sharks' success. So I'm really interested to see her routine, especially with that beat jump to layout step out. Looks like the discrepancy is over the start value. One of the judges gave McCall a 9-7 start. Back on the bars, we're finally underway with Ms. Shreya Munchie. Beautiful handstand position. And a great toe onto Kostiv. Yeah, wow, that was huge. A little bit of a leg separation as she went to the low bar but not the biggest seduction in the world. Beautiful hands in position. Big swing. Let's see what this one she's going to do. And she makes it around in that double A. A little bit of a pikey position in the end. But, again, that was a good routine, especially coming after a fall. Looks like we'll be moving forward on floor. Again, in the fourth spot for UNH is Ann Schulman. Annie had a strong start for UNH in their season opener. Is also getting started here on being for the start. I really like her poise and position. Not easy to come after the ball, so just gotta put it out of her mind and focus on her own Super Every score counts for LIU now, so they're really looking for a solid hit. She looks great on that backhand start layout step out. She just couldn't stay on. That's actually going to be two balls that LIU will have to get. Such a pretty position in the air, so really unfortunate. That quarter, you know, a little bit position there. I'd like to see a little bit more extension. I really like her. There's that beat jump to lay out step out. That is a cool series. Final cat pass for Annie. She saves it. Here we have on bar for seven, Miss J.C. Jordan. And a huge release move. 
We don't see that one too often in college gymnastics. That stuck this mount. Unfortunate for that fall, but really showed oh. some great parts there. And I think that she'll be uh, working hard this season to uh, increase her scores. She really has pretty beam performance. Unfortunately, Southern had to count two falls. That was a good routine for JC, but she just didn't have enough momentum to land that double layout across. Nonetheless, that was a huge release move that we've seen. Again, one not too common on the college level. Following JC on bars would be Gigi Malice Mastalone. So hopefully she can put up a big score knowing that Southern will have to count a fall. There's Alana Ricketts for the Sharks. Her teammates call her Ricky, so you might hear them cheering, go Ricky, uh, from the sidelines. She is a senior, and she has been a staple of this team lineup. She has beautiful lines and really, really pretty leaps. Looks like another start value issue over on the floor exercise. Judges will talk it out. Different angles, seeing different things. We have the the referee, judge referee coming in to reevaluate. I will say though, and this might be a controversial opinion, but I'm going to say it. I actually do like seeing judges have a little bit of a discrepancy because it's it goes to show that not every routine is a ten, not every routine. You know, I agree. It, it, sometimes you need that in gymnastics, you know. Some people see a three-tenth leg separation, others see one-tenth, and I think that's the problem that a lot of gym fans are seeing today. Yeah, I'm glad to see, you know, some some discussions about the scoring and making sure that each routine has the right start value as well, you know. How do you separate the good from the great is by having mm -hmm. um, a big scoring range, so. Exactly. Alana Ricketts getting started. Such pretty extension. She's a great beam worker, so she just needs to stay, you know, as calm as possible. That's hard to say when you're up on the beam, but just work through her skills. And what I love about her balance game the most is her pace. She doesn't rush, and that's not something that you can always teach. It is just something that a gymnast has to have. She has it. Like right there, she was a little bit off on the landing, but she stayed patient and pulled her foot down to make sure to stay on the green. And she didn't even raise her leg above uh, her waist, and she didn't uh, bend over. So really minimizing the deduction there, even though she was a little off on the series. Such pretty leaps as well. Next up on floor for UNH will be Serena Mullen. Just to dismount here for Lana Ricketts. That, that was, yes. Cold. That is exactly what the Sharks wanted to see. Really patient work settled in, and she killed that just now. Let me tell you something. Coach Randy is going to have a hard time trying to fill those shoes once she graduates because she is, I mean, she's the epitome of a balance beam worker. She is. Front through, through to a double, oh, out of bounds for Serena. It was a beautiful pass. Just too much uh, power. Here we have Miss Gigi on the uneven bars for Southern. That was a great Pocaccia to immediate pack, also. Beautiful handstand position. Great swing. Great momentum. And she pulls that dismount around. I almost thought she was going to 
put her feet on the bars, but thankfully she lands safely on her feet. Last time for the Shark Tank game, we'll have Alina Danoshenko. She's a freshman. This is her first. Two tough beat rotations in the Shark. So really, I just hope she can get up there and you know, the back. start her first time in the beam lineup off strong. Beautiful routine from Serena Mullen, UNH. Unfortunately, that first pass went out of bounds, but everything else was beautiful, strong, dynamic. If she can hone in that power, that's going to be a routine to watch. It looks like it's a 9A5 for Elena Rick. It's a great routine and a great score for her. That actually, I believe, is her career high. She scored a 9 8 2, 5 before, but this is her first 9A5. Next up for UNH is Kylie Georgi Georgini. Kylie was first place on this event at their last meet. Also tying in the all-around. And another front roll mount, but with a really cool little choreography there for Alina. So pretty. An exhibition from Gabriella. Gabriella so for Southern on the uneven bar. Takes that full turn, a little wobble, but she keeps straight on. Setting up for her series here. Oh, she saves that. <laughs> saved it. You know, again, we were just talking about remaining patient and really settling in, and she definitely did that. That's her question to do. Let's see. Uh, straddle half. And it's there. Huge double pike for Kylie. A little jump forward on it, going right into that second pass. Front full front layout stick. Very nice. Front aerial also. Great back flexibility that she showed off there. That was a great exhibition routine from Miss Gabriella. One of the best routines from Southern today. You can see on the camera, the Sharks are so happy. You know, they really needed that six routine to close out the lineup. Unfortunately, having to count two falls. Uh, Alana and Alina really brought it home there in the last two. Strong routine from Kylie. Just what UNH needed after a few start value mishaps. And I one more to go. Yeah, one more on floor. Or... Looks like they may not be doing their exhibition here on floor. Yeah. And it looks like UNH is going to be done. They had Serena Bauman slated to go. 
Yep, looks like we're finished with our third rotation here. Um, so the teams will rotate to their last block. LIU will head to floor to finish out their meet. Uh, UNH will uh, head to vault. Southern Connecticut State will finish on beam and Yale will finish on guard. That fifth year who's been competing with UNH um, for five years now, she is really, really strong, has great extension, and often gets uh, the stick on her landing. For Yale, they'll be finishing up on bars, where you should keep your eye on Sarah Wilson. She's a senior who uh, scored a 9-8 last week at GW. She's their number one returner from last season. She had an NQS of 9-8-1 last year, and she just has really, really beautiful extension on bars. So she's a good a good athlete to keep your eye out for. And also keep your eye on Chloe DeJoy. She's a freshman. Uh, she hit her beat last week um, when she was, I believe, after her uh, bail. But really, really good extension. And I hope this week she can uh, make it through that routine. On beam, we'll have Southern Connecticut State University, where we'll have one of the routines I've been actually waiting for all day, which is Amelia Diaz. She has a really fun routine with lots of interesting skills, like a press handstand mount and a chin stand. Um, she also has a interesting series, so keep your eye out for her. And of course, the Sharks will go to floor where they will have a, their floor party. Can't talk enough about how exciting this team is on floor. Um, so you'll just have to wait and see. Uh, I really enjoy um, Isabel Savino on floor where she has a pike jump full and also Taylor Doughton. It's her first year on uh, competing on floor as well. So keep an eye out for all the sharks really on floor. Up first on floor for the sharks will be Elena Dalinchenko. She just finished the Sharks off on beam and she's going to start them off strong on floor. This will be Libby Allen for Southern Connecticut starting off on beam. I also should have mentioned Angel Lee. She didn't compete last week. She's a junior for Southern Connecticut and she is spectacular on beam. She'll be their anchor. So here comes Libby, the junior. Getting things underway for Yale on the bars is Lauren Holt. And on the vault for UNH, a great Lachenko full from Ann Chalman. She's really had a good day today. Mm -hmm. Series back handspring layout step out for Libby Allen. I'd like a little more extension in the knees, but she was solid on the landing. Front through to a double tuck. Very nice. Really committing to the choreography there. I love it. Nice and dramatic. Beautiful leaps there from Libby Allen on team. Beautiful switch ring. Just the dismount for Libby to go. and she takes a hop forward, but a great start for Southern Connecticut. She looks thrilled. One more pass for Alana. Round up back handspring, double pike. Oh, I can't quite tell if she put her knees down, but I think, I think she might have saved it and just taken a really big step, step. forward. It's still going to be a pretty sizable deduction, but it'll be interesting to see if the judges saw her put her knees down. Yeah. Sometimes I wish in gymnastics we had a replay. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't quite tell. I saw her going forward, but wasn't quite sure if she put her knees down or not. Up next on vault for UNA should be Maya McDonald. Oh, 
and a nice rectangle half. Though it has one half less twist than a rectangle full, the pop of also we've seen today, it does have a blind landing, which makes the landing part even more difficult. So that was a beautiful ball from Maya for UNH. Up next on the uneven bars from Yale will be Gigi Sabatini. And Emily Call getting started here on beam for Southern. Next on floor for the Sharks, we'll have Taylor Dalton. Great to catch it. A little bar combination for Gigi. Back up with a beautiful handstand position. Oh, she gets a little loose in the blindfold and has to come down. It almost looked like she hit the low bar, but luckily she mm -hmm. just missed that. And here's Emily getting started on beam. I like that spl split mount. You see a lot of straddle mounts in NCAA, but not so many straight split mounts. Ariel back handspring, really clean. And a good finish from Gigi. She repeats that blindfold. Still a little off center, but she's Here able to make Here goes Taylor that on floor. Taylor is a senior. Keep your eye on Emily here. She's going to do a cat leap to a side aerial to an arabesque. And she actually puts her leg down. Last week she did that as an arabesque, but really smart there to know that she wasn't quite straight up and that she could just put her foot down. A few steps on that double tuck, but doesn't look like she went out of bounds. Emily, strong routine. And a great ball for Macau McKellen. McMillan, you an eight. Up next on beam will be the routine I've been waiting for all day, mm -hmm. Amelia Diaz. I know my fellow commentators here have heard me talk about it a few times, but just keep your eye on her. Press, press handstand. I am looking forward to this routine. <laughs> I've been hyping it up all day. It's so fun when you see different gymnastics. Exactly. She does, you know, that press handstand mount, but she also, her series is a side aerial to round off, which is totally different than I really see any other NCAA athletes do. So it's just fun, you know, to have something a little bit different. You see a lot of backhand mm -hmm. and step outs, a lot of switch leaps, split jumps. So fun to have something new. Up next for Yale on the bars would be the senior Sarah Wilson. There is a solid gymnast, especially on the uneven bar. So this is where Yo can bounce back from that fall that we've seen from Miss Gigi. Beautiful Takato. Back up to a nice high handstand. Very nice vault. From Miss Jenna DeVincenzo. Beautiful. Very late. Nice laid out full. Next up on four, going into the third position for LIU, we have Isabella Savino. Amelia Diaz getting started here 
on beam for this pressed handstand mount. That's beautiful. Shows such strength in the gymnast. Unfortunately on floor, I don't think the judges are gonna give Taylor her leaps. Be hoping to drop that score. Side aerial to round off. Oh, she almost turns that wobble into a scale. <laughs> and a solid vault from Serena Mullen. That is definitely going to be one of the higher scoring vaults that we've seen today. Switch leap, ring jump. So cool. Love a ring jump. Isabella looking to spice some things up on floor for the Sharks. Side aerial with two feet there. <clears throat> Round of backhand spring, double tuck, chest. Had to take a few steps forward. Something I think she's going to be stopping. Hurt her foot. Uh -huh. Trainer is going to have to come out. Help Isabella. That's very unfortunate for the Sharks. On bars, we have Sherry Wank, who also had an unfortunate fall. That's two falls for Yale, which means that they will have to count either Gigi or Sherry's bar routine. From what it looks like, Isabella landed half on the mat. She already has tape around that ankle. Yeah, it looks like she tried to keep going, but I just think that she knew that it wasn't a good idea. She's sitting down there on the mat. You know what? It's still early in the season. It's better to stay healthy. And that was a huge vault from Kylie Jurgeni. <laughs> I love her extension I mean, on that vault. Right. She definitely blocks. Gets out, and she knows it. The way she comes out, it's like she comes out in midair, gazes at the floor as she prepares to land. That was also a strong finish from Sherry Wang from Yale, who recovered from a fall. Following Sherry, we will have Chloe DeJoy, who will be in the fifth position. And then freshman Lily O'Coin, who will close things out for Yale on the uneven bar. Alexa Melanson getting started for Southern Connecticut on the beam. Just got to keep focus, not think about the rest of the, the meet that's going on, and make sure that she can focus on her own beam routine. She also has a really interesting series with a Catley front aerial backhand spring. We'll see if she does it today. Isabella was carried off the floor. Hopefully she'll get checked out and everything is okay. Coach Randy kept all his gymnasts in a circle there so that they were you know, focused. focused. Ready to go. Now we have Lauren Miller going up. I know it's always hard to go after a teammate has gone down. Hopefully they can rally and finish this meet strong. Yeah, we'll hope that Isabella is okay and you know, hope that she'll be able to get back out here. She's been really strong in these first two meets for the Sharks. A really strong gymnast and a really strong competitor for the Sharks. So, you know, hoping the best for her. And that was Leah Moreno who just finished a competition for UNH on the vault. H is officially done and over with in this competition. And they will now wait for the total score as the other teams conclude their meet. And Alexa is up on beam. Nice full turn. And another fall from Yale by Chloe DeJoy. Wow, she worked her way through that series. She was a little off to the side on that front aerial, but she just was patient and went straight into the backhand spring. On um, bars, Chloe was just a little too far in her straddle Jaeger. So unfortunate because Yale had such a, have was so strong on the other events today. Really nice 
outside aerial from Alexa. Just a dismount still to come. UNH gymnasts rallying around the LAU floor rotation. A hop on that dismount, but a really great routine for Alexa. That's four routines down. Oh, kind of pings that dismount, but she lands on her feet. Club to Joy, who just finished things for Yale on bars. And freshman Lily Akoy will anchor Yale on the uneven bars. She was the last gymnast for the Bulldogs as they conclude their competition. Floor judges having a little issues. <laughs> Moving forward to the next gymnast. Yeah, it's hard because they do have to give a score for that routine to move forward. So. This will be Angelina Stampa for Southern on beam. She also does a triple series, back handspring, back handspring, layout step out. Now up, Lauren Miller. Beautiful double pike. Gorgeous. I love her double pike. I always have. It just floats. Yeah, she gets such good elevation and really hits that landing every time. It's always so nice when you see the gymnasts have full control over their movements and their tumbling passes. Little shark action in there, in those dance moves. Front full, front layout. Closing things out for Yale. And I actually think we might have a little bit of a roster change for the Bulldogs. Final pass for Lauren. Round up by Canspring Double Tuck. Angelina getting started here. And that actually was probably the joy who just finishing out for the on the on the uneven bars for Yale. Triple series there for Angelina. She stays straight. I'd love to see a little bit more extension in the knees and the feet, but she really kept it straight on the beam. Oh, a break at the waist there after her series. Jump series. Good extension on that leap there. You really want every leap to be at or above 180 degrees to get full credit. Next up for the Sharks will be Ella Barrington. And the one and a half discount for Angelina. Another hit for Southern Connecticut. And again, a small correction on the uneven bars. The anchor gymnast was Chloe DeJoy, and prior to Chloe was Lily. Lily was the gymnast that had to fall, and Chloe anchored a very strong routine for, yeah. I'm not sure if the gymnasts are feeling it, but it is freezing in this gym. I saw some of the gymnasts walking around in their puffer coats. It reminds me of the elites. They <laughs> yes. all are always wearing those puffer coats. And the anchor here for Southern Connecticut State will be Angel Lee, and she is just spectacular on beam. This is her first beam this year but she is just a star. So I think we just sit back and watch this one, let her close out their rotation. They will, I think, have one more exhibition to go after her, but just let her, you know, do her thing. 
Ella Barrington going on floor for the Sharks. I love watching Ella's first pass. Two and a half. Beautiful. So there. Angel just really has beautiful movements in between all of her skills. She has great extension. Oh, 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 oh she fought. She was gonna hold on to it too. Yeah, she really she, fought for that front aerial. Yeah, had to come off on the front aerial. She had her leg up, and I thought she was gonna be able to hold on to it. That's unfortunate. Great routine from Ella Barrington for the Sharks. Looks like she's gonna do that front aerial here again. No problems that time, straight into the back handspring. The reason she had to do it again is because that's her uh, acro series. And if she hadn't done it again, she wouldn't have been uh, she wouldn't have been starting from her full start value. And her coach, head coach Byron Knotts, he was yelling at her to do it again. Yeah, he was, <laughs> I think, reminding her, you got to do right. it again. You're not going to get your full start value. I love that, though. Sometimes it's not always, it's not always easy to repeat skills once you fall in them in competition. So big kudos to her. And a good dismount there. Really, you know, just great for her to get out there this year. She's such a beautiful beam worker, and I'm sure that that was just, you know, first first routine of the year, nerves. Glad to see her get back up there and uh, repeat the skill with no problem. I believe we will have an exhibition from Grace Christensen for Southern Connecticut to finish out their competition. Our final competitor for the Sharks will be Kira Sanchez. She'll be finishing off the floor party. Run through to a dull. The back went out of bounds, unfortunately, but very strong first pass. Great height. A lot of extension and lift on those leaps. Kira is an extremely powerful gymnast. Getting ready for this last pass. Round it back handspring double pike. Squats it down a little bit, but saves it. Her team is excited that she hit that. <laughs> Great finish for Kira. <laughs> and her team was pumped. Yeah, she came in first at Morris today and then tapped to make sure to hit that routine in the last spot. 
after her teammate went down. Just a great, great performance and a really big hit for her. Yeah, that's always hard to do when a teammate goes down and you're, and then another teammate is is out for the meet. We've got Grace here on beam. Really pretty series. A little wobbly on that side aerial there. Beautiful dance on beam. Getting ready for her leap pass. Straddle quarter. I've seen a bunch of those straddle quarters today. I think they've become a little bit more popular. I'd love to see more athletes really turn their hips under and get to that full 180 straddle position. Agreed. I love a straddle jump and it's done very well. Gearing up for her dismount. Nice one and a half, tucked one and a half with a small hop forward. Good hit for her in the exhibition spot to finish out Southern's day. They had a really great beam rotation. I love those innovative routines, yep. seeing something a little bit new. And I and think that's it for our competition. Yeah, with that today. exhibition, it completes our meet. LS, uh, LIU's first home meet of the season. Hosting these other three great teams. And so we'll have to wait a moment before we can get some final scores here. I know it's been challenging here. We haven't had so many scores on the broadcast, but we'll hopefully be able to bring you those scores before we close here. Did you die? It's just like here, what oh. everything moves smoothly for you guys or yeah, not?
spell? Yeah, she was dead. So yeah. Dead. Um, she said the famous words, there's a hole in the floor. There's a hole in the floor. That's when they say that. They say yeah, that, yeah, and yeah, like, 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 it's like, like a game spell. Okay. I know, I was like, she Are leaped it, and then she, like, stepped on I the mat, and then all of a sudden she... She was, like, trying to dance, and she stopped. Yeah, but she tried to dance, and I'm like... People don't usually land when they rupture on the takeoff, so that's how strong she is. I thought it was like she was like walking. She was like walking. Because I have to take over and it pulls me here. Yeah. That's happened to my coach. He said he swore he didn't oh, know. Man. So he kept tumbling. And after he did his full known death, then he just went to sleep. Fuck me and Dave for that. They're like, you can ask me this for three years. Yeah. Yeah. It's I, I have this feeling that I don't really know what to do with this kitten. I'd have to go to the kitten and like wait for someone to come in. So that's why I was trying to figure out this kitten. Still comes from Sweden a little bit. Yeah. He used to yeah. get a lot of coffee and a little sickness kind of mentality. There, I was so, very sick a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I'm going to Towson next week because of this. Yeah. Oh my god. I thought those days were over where we didn't have to no. worry about that. Right, right. Oh no. Now it's like you only know if you test it or not. Hello? That's the scary part. <laughs> It really is. I know. I, I, I mean, I know I have kids that are in my classroom every day when I'm COVID. It's like, I always tell kids, like, get away from me. <laughs> Back away, kids. <laughs> They're like, coffee. I'm like, go, go over there. I like you, but I don't like you that much. <laughs> right? I don't want whatever you have. Yeah. No, this was, a, it, it was okay. Okay. That was kind of useless. I didn't even want to go. Maybe we go. Maybe next time we need to, we need to be, like, more forward. Over, like we keep on staying forward. Yeah, try to be more forward. It's okay. the next one's not a, a squad meet. No, right? it's not. It's just yeah. a good place. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna go too. Oh, that wasn't me. 